Ew. Welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the Daily Challenge for March 20th, 2023. The character Death is Island and the modifier size shiny. Starting deck is replaced with one of every rare card. Red cards, red cards now appear in rewards and shops. And Midas enemies drop 200% more gold, but you can no longer smith at red sites. Awesome. So green and red cards together with shiny, that means Juggernaut and Aftermage will be very doable. I see Vorpal here with 1536, uh, followed by Bjorn with 1492 and Merriam Gaming with 1488. So pretty good. Let's review the scores from yesterday. So if you remember yesterday I died, um, and then up on the replay I actually didn't do that badly um so vorpal ended up with 1346 and 26 place so interestingly a few people decided not to take the act 3 elite fight which is definitely something i was going to do if i hadn't died um, and that ended up being the right idea because even though a lot of people skipped the act 1 uh, third elite fight they still were able to make up the number of elites uh, thanks to question marker release in act two so vorpal for example uh if you remember on my replay i had three elites on act one four elites on act two and then two on act three and vorpal just had two elites on act one but then instead of the four had five elites on act two so ended up with the same amount of elites um, and then you know avoided dying of course which is a huge plus um and then uh yeah also obviously took rare cards that definitely helped a lot um ended up generating a lot of orbs um through those rare cards also was able to get overkill and combo so yeah pretty good run overall then you have chef in the cloud here with 1289 um chef also did the same thing in terms of the leads but in addition to um moving one elite from act one to act two uh, chef also avoided the uh, one of the elites on act three trying to get a shop to hopefully get more collector bonuses so chef was one of the few people who went for collector bonuses or tried to at least um was able to affect all the bosses end up with only two collector bonuses i think the decision to go for collector bonuses depended on whether or not people took pandora's box after the first boss because it looks like for almost everybody pandora's box gave three cold snaps um and yeah so chef was able to get a collector bonus through that but then only got one more collector bonus through the bite so ended up not getting too many collectors and then chef right from the beginning beginning avoided curses which i think was the best idea yesterday because the curses definitely did not help me with my uh, you know quest to die early then you have Shadow here with in 39th place with 1264. Um, and by the way, you can check out both Vorpals and Shadow's um, link to the final screen in their comments yesterday. So Shadow perfected four elites, got uh, all of the bosses. Uh, Shadow went for the regular elite path or similar elite path to what I did too. So 343 three, three rather than uh, 252. And then... Um, yeah, so Shadow Perfect all the bosses, also got Pandora's box, got the three cold snaps, but then tried to still pivot back to Highlander, which might have been the right idea. Uh, so removed two of the cold snaps again. And then interestingly had a few relics and cards that helped, uh, like Neolurus Codex to give him an extra card every turn, and then Hello World to also give an extra card every turn. So I think both of those definitely helped perfecting all the bosses, so congratulations there. Joe ended up with 1257, which is good. And then my score would have been here in 53rd place with 1234, upon a replay, of course. I perfected four elites, but only one boss. Still, even with only perfecting one boss, I think I did decent. And then my real score is much lower because I died on Act 1. Uh, then you have Pelts here in 78th place with 1186, 87, sorry, and then just barely missing the top 100 is Alex here with 1162. Um, and then Malzan missed the top 100 with 1037. Malzan only perfected two elites, similar to Chef, avoided the Act 3 elite to get a shop, hoping to get more collector bonuses, but um, wasn't super lucky, ended up with just one. Now, interestingly, Malzan saw the Mind Bloom event, the one that offers you normalities. So obviously, it didn't take them, because um, I think it would have been very difficult. But I do wonder if theoretically that does mean that four curse or five curses would have been possible. Because Malazan saw uh, the injury, two normalities, and one potential uh, parasite from the Writhing Mass. And if you remember yesterday, I actually saw two Writhing Mass fights. So I wonder if anybody was able to get curses after all. And then uh, just scrolling down to my score, yeah, I ended up with 60, uh, 76. I died to not even the slime boss, right? I died to one of the acid slimes on Act 1. And I did want to scroll a little bit to see, because, yeah, David died at the same place. Actually, a lot of people have 76 points, so I assume a lot of people died. Yeah, so David uh, had a very short Twitch stream yesterday where, uh, yeah, basically died at the same place, played very similar to what I did, and, you know, as a result, also died very similarly to the way I did. Anyway, let's move on to today's run. I'll reload without um, mods and I'll get started. All right, just to review the shiny deck for red and green cards. So if defensively, I have an impervious. Um, I have the barricade, which hopefully I'll play before the impervious. And then after Mitch and Juggernaut, it's going to be my uh, attempt to try to deal as much damage as possible by playing every card. And then corruption would also be something I would like to draw. So two two lead paths, um, only in the sort of middle 
right. Left side doesn't have a two elite path. So if I get to this elite, that's three question mark. Actually, it doesn't matter if I go for this or this elite. I guess there's an extra rest side. But with Midas, I can't upgrade anything anyway. So I think I'll avoid that rest side. And then after this point, if I go right, I'll get one question mark room. Left, I'll get one question mark room. But right side has an extra rest side, so I'll stick left. No, wait. No, on the left. Yeah, no, still one question mark room, no rest side. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I do hope I get some sort of upgrade opportunity because I would like to get that after image upgraded. Let's start with Corruption. Yeah, I do have a lot of skills to play. Might as well do the Phantasm Killer. And then of course, something like Feel No Pain would be great. Um, all right, well, there's a Nightmare. I'm not sure. Well, I can Nightmare the Adrenaline. Why not? Okay, if it's free. Uh, do I want Juggernaut? Let me see what the Adrenaline gives me first. Actually, I could do... Wait. Fiendfire, oh right, double damage, 14 times 4, that is exactly 52, awesome. I could consider waiting for the Alchemist, but uh, I can do that later. Flying Sleeves, Outmaneuver, Flex. Because I have Corruption, I do wonder if I should take more skills, but no, let's take a regular attack with Flying Sleeves. Come. Alright, and then here, let's start with Adrenaline, I can even exhume it if I want to. Oh, I completely forgot I had a feed. Right, right, I should do that too. Um, so I think the only way to use the feed here would be to feed exhume and then feed again, right? There's no other way I can deal a tiny bit extra damage. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. So feed, exhume that feed. Okay, I just remembered. So I, ha I have to try to use the feed as much as possible. You know what? If that's the case, let's, let me also wait to get the alchemize. I do have a, an elite coming up very soon. So ideally, I would try to use it by then. Um, here, let's do impervious. I will play the flying sleeve so I can kill easily when I have to. Mm -hmm. Another five, I think. Oh, there's the Alchemist. Okay. All right, Swift Push is not amazing. Yeah. All right. Okay, Slice, Quick Slice, Sneaky Strike. Not a huge fan, and I don't need to pick up a lot of cards because I already have so many. All right, so here, let me try to use the feed multiple times. Actually, I can't because I have the Exhume on turn one. Great. Um, I guess I can do Bullet Time, right? Um, Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's do Bullet Time. Tools of the Trade, Impervious. I can do die, die, die. Flying knee, and then the feet should allow me to kill. Is there anything I need to exhume? No, another that that I would kill, so there's no need to exhume that. All right, there's a limit break. I am getting attacked. Unfortunately, I can't fully defend. Um, yeah, let me get rid of the limit break because I don't need it. Uh, I'll do corruption and um, storm of steel to just play one ship. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here I can use the feed. Yeah, fine. Let's just use the feed. I was trying to wait for the Alchemist, but I think this is okay too. All right, we got a block potion, which is nice. And then I can't take any duplicates. So let's go with the backflip. Not a bad idea, especially if I have the corruption active. All right, lots of potions here. I guess I'll take a skill potion. Maybe the... No, no, I'm happy with the potions I already have. Come. Okay. And then here I got a shop. My Calcum is interesting. I don't think I need Lee's Waffle. In terms of cards, I'm not a huge fan of any of these. Let's take the Aracalcum if you end your turn without blocking 6 block. Okay. Now, of course, once I get the Aftermage upgraded, this will be less useful, but still. Anything I need to remove, I could remove the um, Grand Finale, right? Which is going to be very hard to use. Or I can... I don't think I need Fruit Juice. A Duplication Potion might be ne necessary too. It is expensive. Let's take the True Grid instead. I don't think I'll take anything else. Yeah, I think this is fine. Too bad I can't get at that true grid upgraded, at least not easily. All right, yeah, starting off with the offering, I think this might be worth it here. So let's do after image adrenaline. Hmm. And then I can do, I should have done corruption. Well, it doesn't really matter too much. Actually, if I do corruption, the bullet time is free, right? Yeah, let's do corruption. Then um, offering, okay. Okay, I can exhume the offering again, actually. Yeah, that might be worth it, right? Okay, let's exhume the offering. Mm -hmm. I'll do impervious, might as well. Then do offering again. Okay. Oh, there's a barricade. That's awesome. Okay, now I don't even have to worry about things. Uh, in that case, I don't have any more card draw. Let's do bullet time. I can do a thousand cuts, barricade. And then, yeah, I, I should be fine here. Let me see. Do I need alchemize? You want? Know let's, uh, let's try to get an intangibility potion. Let me drink the skill potion here. Uh, I don't think I need limit break, unfortunately. Let's take phantasm killer. Why not? And then I'll do Alchemize, okay? Double tap. Um, yeah, let's double tap the Unload. All right. Mm -hmm. And then I can kill with the Flying Knee. Yep. All right, pretty good. And then next turn I have double damage. Maybe I can wait for a feed, especially if I Barricade active. Let me do... Should I Bursty? Yeah, let's Bursty backflip. Okay. I have to be careful not to accidentally kill, because I definitely can. Um... 
Yeah, fine. I think I'll do da da da, and then I'll wait. Uh, let's do malaise here. Okay. All right. I have to be careful. I can only play a few more cards before the um, the thousand cuts kills. Actually, there's the feed. Good. And then something like this kills. Awesome. All right, that was good. We got Bash Rush, I just with one strength, as well as a Flex Potion, which I don't think I'll take. Bloodletting, Prepared Expertise. Expertise might not be a bad idea. If I have the Corruption active, let's take it. All right, Slaver here. I'm very happy that I'm starting off with Bullet Time again. Okay. I can do After Mitch Impervious. Um, this is not yet enough to kill, so let's play that. Okay. And then no reason to play the Backflip. Okay. Seven. I could Reaper here. I could kill, but I think... Here, let's do Reaper. I could have double-tapped the Reaper. That was a mistake. Double-tapping Reaper would have been better, right? Yeah, fine. 12. Yeah, there's the fee. That's what I wanted to wait for. Good. Okay. Got a f another Flex potion, potion offered, which I don't think I'll take. I'll take the Ghostly Armor, though. Dual Wield might have been nice, but yeah. Here, I'm resting back to full anyway. What's my final boss, by the way? Guardian. Okay, not the Hexagos, which is good. Yeah, I got Eternal Feather. 5v5 card chain deck. Heal 3 HP whenever you enter a rest site. Okay. And then here, Emulate kills everything. Actually, well, there's an Alchemize here. Let me try the Explosive Potion, use the Alchemize for Snake Oil, and then kill. Good. Okay, Twin Strike, Piercing Will, Havoc. Piercing Will is a great defensive card. Mm -hmm. And then Spike Slime and the Cultist. Oof, I have the feet here. I don't think I'll be able to kill with it, though. Um... Yeah, try... Well, I hang on, 25. There's nothing... No other damage I can do, right? Trying to think if I should do something with the Expertise, not use the Bullet Time. Here, let's do Berserk. Expertise will draw me just two cards. Might be worth it. Let's try it. Yeah, no, oh, actually, 18 plus 11 is 29. That's exactly enough. Phew. Okay. Good, good. Smart that I wasn't. I didn't play the Bullet Time. That was actually, in the end, not necessary. Let's do Adrenaline. Impervious, actually... Um, let me discard the Snake Oil Potion to just drink the Impervious. Okay, Blessing of the Forge is fine. And then, yeah, let's do Impervious. And I think I'll wait. Actually, this is... Yeah, I can I can deal the damage with the Fiend Fire here. I'm uh, waiting for maybe getting an Exhum. That way I can Exhum the... Um, the uh, What do you call it? Feed again. Uh, do I want to... Well, actually, here. Let's do Wraith Form. That way I don't take much damage. Mm -hmm. Does buy me a little bit of time. Although, yeah, now the Exhum alone is not going to be enough, right? Because that's only 11 damage. Uh, flying Knee is 20. Ooh. Um, well, I should still Exhum it, right? Let's do Flying Knee. I'll, because I'm intangible, I'll do the Offering. Okay. Um, wait, let me Exhum the Feed for sure. So 11. I need to deal another 6. So the Juggernaut alone is not enough. Uh, let's still do Juggernaut Backflip. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm missing just a little bit. Actually, here, if I upgrade the feed, I'll get more max HP out of it, and I can kill. Good. All right, Uppercut, Catalyst, Bane. Uppercut is not a bad idea for the weakness. Okay. All right, like, Luna's great, because that way I can play all my powers. Unfortunately, I get the Wraith Form right at the beginning, which is not ideal. Let's see what the Alchemize gives me. Skill Potion. Okay, and then I think I'll just do, here, Berserk and Juggernaut. Okay, getting Berserk on turn one against the Leg of Luna is actually really nice. Mm-hmm. All right, I could do... Yeah, let's do Bullet Time. Yep. And then I'll do Brutality, Eruption, and Thousand Cuts at the end, because I don't actually want to start dealing damage just yet. And here I do want to start dealing damage. Okay, awesome. Got the Offering and Barricade. This is really good. Let's start with Barricade Adrenaline. All right. Ooh, I can Nightmare the Impervious. Okay, and that way I don't have to worry about this at all. So I don't even think I need to play the Offering, right? Yeah, I think I should be fine, because I have so many Imperviouses coming up. Uh, let's just do the uh, Emulate here. I might have considered playing the Feed, just so I could exhume it later if I need to. But yeah, here, let's do After Image, play all the Imperviouses. Alright, and then I think I'll just do Storm of Steel. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, I just need to play one more card next turn. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter which one, right? Awesome. All right, perfect this one. That was a fun fight. We got Pendip. Every 10th attack you play, play deals double damage. Second wind, quick slash finisher. I unfortunately don't think I can really use finisher. Let's take the second wind. I, uh, well, haven't gotten any curses yet, but hopefully I will get some soon. All right, six incoming. I do have the, Alco the uh, what do you call it, Arcalcum for that. So instead of Barricade, I think I'll do, or should I just do Barricade? Yeah, fine, let's do Barricade. I was going to do Corruption, but I think Barricade might be better. I hope Barricade might be better. 
All right, bludgeon is 33. That kills one of them. Uh, let's do that. Okay, and then since I'm vulnerable anyway, might as well do berserk, get a little bit of energy out of it. All right, 13. I can do impervious here. That's good. And then fiend fire. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then maybe get a feed here. Um, or just do wraith form. Sure, sure. And then I'll do second wind for a little bit of block. Okay. Since I have the, the the intangibility, I think I'll wait a little bit. Wait, I didn't... Did I discard a feed? No, no, I didn't yet. Yeah, let's just do doppelganger. Hopefully that allows me to draw the feed next turn. And there it is. Awesome. Okay, 92 max HP. That's not bad. We got a liquid bronze potion, which I don't think I'll take. Body slam, sword boomerang, heavy blade. Sometimes these two are useful, but no, I think I'll skip them. I don't think they're as essential. And then here I got my first curse injury, as well as the golden idol. Enemies drop 25% more gold. Okay. And then here, yeah, I have to do resting again for no reason. All right, so let me see if I can get lucky here. Um, Berserk is a little dangerous, but it might be worth it, especially if I have both Offering and Adrenaline on turn one. Let's start with Berserk, free up my hand, and then do Offering. Okay. Ooh, there's Nightmare. I could Nightmare the Adrenaline for lots of energy and card draw. Might be worth it. Yeah, let's do that. Then play the Adrenaline. Oh, there's Bullet Time. That's also nice. Yep, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Then do Tools of the Trade, Flying Knee. I can... Yeah, there's nothing really useful to burst, right? Uh, actually, I can transform if I do that. No, I don't actually want to transform just yet. I hope I should be able to transform next turn. So let's just do... Let's just do unload and nothing else. Okay? Mostly because the next turn I'll still be vulnerable and I do want to avoid that. Okay. And then here, I do have the Wraith Form, but I think I can just do After a Juggernaut, right? Yeah, let's do After a Juggernaut. Should have... No, I think that's the right order. Then do one Adrenaline, play the Corruption... Do a second Adrenaline. I might consider doing the Thousand Cuts. Oh, course Explosion is nice. Okay, one more Adrenaline. Impervious. I don't have Barricade active. So that might be a problem. Yeah, actually, I think instead... Let's do Phantasm Killer. And then instead, I'll just play the Doppelganger to increase the chance of drawing the right thing next turn. Mm -hmm. Nine incoming. Okay. Yeah, this is a problem, right? Because I didn't draw anything defensive. Let's get rid of the grand finale. Actually, if I do malaise, that should be enough, right? Negative six with weakness. Yeah, it might not be enough, but I do have some... Yeah, it's it's only two, and I just need to play one other card. I can do the limit break here. Okay. Yeah, negative six strength is a huge help here. Because now I only have to defend against two. Awesome. And I can do barricade too, right? Yeah, let's do, let's do barricade and then ghostly armor. Uh, all right, and then I can even do something like last knife here. Okay. Yeah, that big malaise actually helped a lot. Yeah, here I have zero incoming, and basically the more cards I play, the better. Um, I don't think there's anything useful to exhume, so... Well, I'll get rid of the brutality, though. Let's do Venom. Anything I need? Um, I should... I think I should always try to get... Um, here, let's drink this. Seeing red is fine. I should try to get that intangibility potion, even if it's very unlikely. Emulate, feed... And then I can exhume, I don't know, Corpse Explosion, another Blaze. Now nah, let's do Limit Break. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, two incoming uh, here. Let's get rid of the Demon Form, although it might not be a bad idea. And I think I'll just do Fiend Fire. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I do have double damage active next turn. Um, This is enough to kill, right? Awesome. Alright, fairly easy act one. Shiny red and green cards are awesome. Uh, I have to reject all of these to go for the Highlander modifier, so let's skip that. And then here I would like extra energy, but uh, not being able to rest at rest site, is that going to be that important? I do have Eternal Feather. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll take the Coffee Drip again. Energy at the start of your turn, you can no longer rest at rest sites. The safer choice would be Slaver's Collar, but I think Coffee Dripper might be better just because that will allow me to do well at regular fights too. Slaver's Collar only helps in the and boss fights, right? All right, three lead path on the left. That's good. One, two, three, four, five question mark rooms. That's not too bad. Might be hard to get uh, curses, though, depending on how those question mark rooms look like. All right, so there's a corruption, but no skills other than the nightmare. I could try to just deal damage. 36, um, probably 38. Yeah, that's not going to be enough. I think just for future, for the future, I'll play the corruption. Then nightmare, something like uh, da da da. Why not? Okay, let's do that. And then limit break. So I'll have six block thanks to the Oracalcum here. Mm -hmm. And incoming. Yeah, I should always do Aftermath just because there is a chance I might get the um, Juggernaut, right? 
Uh, bullet time. I don't have any more card draw, right? Yeah, let's do bullet time. Then do glass knife. Um, Reaper. Okay. Die, die, die. Actually, is that enough to kill? It is. Awesome. All right. Okay, dash, prepared, sucker punch. I could do sucker punch, but dash, I think, is better to give me some block as well. Duplicate a card. I could duplicate a curse and then try to transform it. Is that smart? Let's try that. Yeah. If there's a transformation event, that's great. Worst case scenario, I'll just have to remove it. Okay. All right, got looter and mugger. Um, so there's reaper. I'm already at full HP, so I don't really think I need that. Uh, let's actually do offering first. Mm -hmm. Then do... Alchemist, not a bad idea. Uh, let's do Impervious Reaper. Okay. And then I should have done the uh, Limit Break first. Uh, let me throw... I should have also thrown the Fear Potion first. Let's do Alchemize for Weakness Potion, which is fine. And then I think I'll just do Doppelganger. Okay. Definitely misplayed that turn a little. Should have thrown the fo uh, Fear Potion first and then played the Limit Break first. Um, so here I think I'll do After Image Dash. And then um, Double Damage uh, Uppercut is not enough to kill, but deals a lot of damage. Well, it is enough to kill this one. Let's do that. All right. Should have counted that, and then I could have played the dash on the backliner. Yeah, that's fine. And then the backliner is trying to escape. Let's do Juggernaut, double tap the unload. Okay. Yep, that's enough to kill. Good. All right. Uh, Wild Strike, Battle Transport, Bumang. Battle Trans is pretty good. Okay. And Centurion and Mystic. Just a regular fight here. Should I try to get the Overkill modifier here? It might be hard to do it in some other fight. So, yeah, let's try that. Um, or I can just double tap the emulate and make my life easier. That's also an option. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do that. Yeah, I think I should be able to get the overkill modifier by doing... Um, what do you call it? By doing, like, a nice corpse explosion, maybe with a burst in one of the AoE fights. Okay. Another 12. I can use the... Yeah, see? This would, be, would have been great, but unfortunately I can't do that. Um, let me throw the weakness potion, then do corruption. Actually, let's nightmare the alchemize. Okay. I'll do Alchemize, Corpse Explosion, and that's it. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I should... Oh, no. I thought I could be... I could kill here. Let's drink this, see what this gives me. Cunning Potion. Okay, you know what? I'm going to give up on the Swift Potion. Alchemize gives me another Cunning Potion. Okay, that actually... those of Both of those will help getting the combo modifier. So, fine. I'll keep them. I won't play the last Alchemize. Let's just kill here. So maybe in a turn with Offering and Adrenaline, these two will give me six extra cards. We got a Fear Potion, which I don't think I'll take. I Didn't I already take a Ghostly Armor? Yes, I did. I did. Too bad it's not upgraded. I don't think any Blood for Blood. Let's take the Rage. I do play a lot of attacks, especially with the Shivs and the Potions that I now have. All right, so here... Let's do Adrenaline first. Actually, I can just double tap the dash, right? That way I don't take any damage. Almost don't take any damage. I could do Ghostly Armor. I don't think it's super necessary... Instead, let's just do um, Flying Knee. Actually, you know what? There's no reason not to. Let's do the Ghostly Armor after all. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here I have double damage. Um, nothing I can use it on, though. Let me do Corruption. And then, um, yeah, let's burst the Corpse Explosion, then do Expertise. Okay, there's a bullet time that allows me to play everything here in Venom. Demon form and then piercing well. Yeah, piercing well allows me to be fully defended thanks to the Orcalcum. Mm -hmm. And then next turn, the poison will kill, right? Uh, yes, no reason to play anything else. Good. Okay, I didn't take any damage here either. We got a sneak oil push, which I don't think I'll take. This arm would be really powerful. Let's definitely take that. Okay. All right, got these slavers here. Okay, well, there's one piece of the combo puzzle adrenaline. I actually end bullet uh, corruption. That's the other piece. Well, let's start with Adrenaline first. Okay. Yeah, I need... I need a block. I don't have any. So now the thing is, can I kill everything? Do I have any more card draw? Not really. So, uh, yeah, let's just play everything. I'll do... I'll do Corruption. Okay. Then do Bullet Time. Alright. Then Demon Form Juggernaut. So bludgeon is 33. That's not even enough. Wait, bludgeon and flying knee together is 42. That's still not enough. Uh, I do have the melee. So with the block potion and the cunning potion, I think I should be enough, right? So uh, 42. Yeah, yeah. So let's do bludgeon, flying knee. Then drink one of the cunning potions. Shiv. I should have counted cards. How many cards did I have? I'm uh, 3, 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10 cards, right? Yeah, that's unfortunately not enough. 
Yeah, fine. All right, let's do two more shifts here, and then I'll do the malaise. So that's 10, and then with the block push, I'll be fully defended. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so here I have 15 incoming. There is an after image that might be useful. Yeah, let's do after image, limit break, tools of the trade. Then do battle trance. All right. Oh, there's a wraith form. Yeah, that makes my life easier. Yeah, let's just do wraith form. Okay, that way I have two turns. Let me still play a few cards just to... I should have bursted the rage. Actually, I can do, just do this. Yeah, just to trigger the Juggernaut as much as possible. Okay. Mm -hmm. One more turn of intangibility. I can just do... Uh, yeah, let's do the Reaper. Actually, did I play a feed by any chance? No. Uh, let's do Reaper. That heals me back full. And then I can do something like Storm of Steel. Awesome. All right, perfect. This one we got Preserved Insect. Enemies in Elite Combats have 25% less HP. Cloak and Nagger, Truger, or Clash. Cloak and Nagger is pretty good. Okay. And then going on the left for two more Elites. Okay, so here let's do Adrenaline first, then Battle Trance. Uh, actually, I'll do Brutality as well. All right. And then anything I need to Nightmare. Not really. I will risk playing the Berserk here. Then do Envenom. I think I'll just do Emulate. And yeah, let's do Emulate and Glass Knife. Okay. All right. A little risky to be, in, uh, to be vulnerable here, but... Let's see. Ooh, 22. Okay. Yeah. Not sure if that risk was worth it. Let's do Alchemize for a Colorless Potion. I can exhume. Let's exhume the Adrenaline. I could exhume another Alchemize, but I think this is better. All right. There's a Bludgeon for... Oh, right. Pendip. Okay. Oh. I thought I might have trouble here, but yeah, I can kill. Forgot about Pendip. Good. Got a Power Potion. Deflect Body Slam Catalyst. Unfortunately, I don't have enough Poison for Catalyst to be worth it. Let's take the Deflect. Not a bad defensive uh, card. Yeah, I got Ink Bottle. One of you play 10 cards, draw one card. Very nice. I do need more card draw here, I think. Kunai, every time play three attacks in this turn, gain one dexterity. Also nice. And then a tiny book of stabbing here. Starting with Corruption, but I will have trouble defending, right? Unless I play the Wraith form. Oh boy. Um, so the problem is, if I do Corruption, I won't be able to play the Wraith form, and I won't be able to defend... Um, yeah, I think I have to do Wraith Form. Yeah, let's do Wraith Form, and I'll do Storm of Steel to gain some... Oh, no, I still need... Oh, never mind, I have the Oracle come right. Almost forgot that about that. Okay. Three incoming. Um, I could burst the Offering. Is that a little too much? I am intangible, though. Yeah, let's do that. Let's burst the Offering. Okay. All right, and then here, probably want to do Juggernaut. Okay. Then Uppercut... Uh, for the weakness. Is that right? Yes, yes. Let's do uppercut for weakness. Uh, not that really. I think it's more for the vulnerability than the weakness. Yeah, and I think I'll just do a big bludgeon. Let me see if the battle trance gives me something like... Yeah, nothing too amazing. Let's just do bludgeon here. Okay. Alright, still relying on the Orcalcum. And I do have double damage in two attacks. 15 incoming. No, not 15. 21. Oh, and I don't have any way to deal damage. Unless I do the shift... Uh, the cutting potion, right? So that'll be... 18 plus 6, 24. That's still not quite enough, but with the Juggernaut, it might be. Let me do After Image first. Then do Deflect. Okay, then Disarm. I'm trying to think if the Juggernaut alone might be enough. Doppelganger. No, unfortunately, Juggernaut alone is not enough. Uh, so let me see what the Colors Potion gives me first. Enlightenment, Thinking Ahead, Impatience. Let's do Thinking Ahead. And then uh, Brutality. That should be enough. Okay, all right, perfect this one. We got a Kabiko, your first attack each combat deals 8 additional damage. Another Corruption I can't take. Deadly Poison, perfect the strike. I don't have enough strikes. I don't have any strikes, right? So I can't take any of those. Or I shouldn't take any of those. And I already have over 50 cards, so I don't really need to take any of those. All right, so here I could do Wraith Form. I don't think that's necessary. Uh, let's just do Cloak and Nagger. That'll give me a bunch of decks as well, right? Yeah, let's do Limit Break. And then just Clo uh, Tools of the Trade Share and then Cloak and Nagger. And, uh, yeah, play two shivs, and I'll do Storm of Steel as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll take a little bit of damage that way, but I think that's okay. Um, I could do Battle Trend. Oh, uh, wait, can I burst the Corpse Explosion? Mm. Let me try to fish a burst. Actually, even the burst, bursting the Corpse Explosion is still not going to be enough, right? Uh, that's a bummer. Let me do, yeah, no, that's fine. All right, let's do Corpse Explosion. Yeah, I'm sure I'll have an opportunity to actually do that. Then do upper no un, hmm, uppercut or emulate. Actually, let's do die 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 and then unload. I think that deals more damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
and then 15 get rid of this since i'm not being attacked let's just do flying knee and doppelganger and i think that should almost guarantee that i'll be able to draw something that kills next turn maybe even a feed thank you uh yes good I still need to get 200 max HP, right? So there's still a little bit to go. Skewer Clash, Endless Agony. Um, yeah, Endless Agony is fine. I'm worried I have too many cards and not enough card draw. All right, another Slaver Fight. Die, die, die with... Wait, why am I... Oh, Akibiko, right. I thought I'm dealing double damage here. There's also a Feed here. Let's definitely do Rage. Okay. Then do Die, Die, Die. Mm -hmm. And then feed is only 11, so that's not quite enough to kill. I could exhume the feed, though. Oh, there's double tap. I can also double tap the feed. Let's do that. Actually, wait. Then I can't defend with the impervious. Oh, boy. I could also just get a die to die back, right? That'll be 14 damage. Kills two of them. Um, but then I will have trouble defending. Actually, I, d I do have the malaise. Yeah, I think the right thing to do is to exhume the die to die. Play that. Kill two of them. And then... Oh, actually, I'm fully defended already. Oh, and I can kill with the feet. Awesome. All right, still got max HP out of it. Good. Sorry about that. Okay, we're at Regal Pillow. Now we're resting an additional 15 HP as well as a Strength Potion. And yeah, Shragadov is actually a pretty good card, especially with Corruption. And then avoiding the rest set because I definitely don't need that. Child Parasite and Fungi Beast. Uh, let's see. So Rage is fine. Let's do... Do I want After Image? Yeah, it might not be a bad idea. Um... I don't want to do a big bludgeon here, too. All right, you know what? Let's do rage, then bludgeon. That was not smart, all right? Because that way I only get five block. At least let me do after image. That way at least I'll get six blocks. Same amount as if I had not played anything and used the Orcalcum. Okay. All right, ten. I can do emulate here. Yeah, let's do emulate. Then see what the battle trance gives me. Uh, there's, you know what? Let's do feed and fire. That way I don't have to worry about this one. And now I think I'll wait for the... Um, or the alchemize or the feed uh, or the feed yeah one of those two actually let's hope it doesn't hit the malaise it did not and then i can do malaise good oh there's a feed that i can't play ah the bummer is that i can't even get back to it with the exude right all right fine i guess i'll i'll wait for the um the alchemize not a bad idea to do that okay yeah that was unfortunate i wonder if i should wait for a reshuffle but no i think that'll take too long uh, yeah, the Alchemist is still in my draw pile, right? Where is it? Yes, there it is. Okay, let's do... Um, let's do Burst the Offering. Why not? I'm okay losing HP because I, I have to heal at the end of this act anyway. Let's drink the Strength Push and play this for a Blessing of the Forge, which is fine. And then I think I can kill just because I don't want to reshuffle. Got a Skill Push, which I don't think I'll need. Deadly Poison, uh, Pummel Strike or Uppercut. Already have this. Uh, Pummel Strike might give me Card Draw, which I don't mind. Okay, let's transform one of the curses. Okay, hopefully that give uh, gives me a unique one. And then, actually, it has to give me a unique one. Is there... Oh, actually, I can finally transform a Grand Finale, which is something I was never going to play anyway. Well, I shouldn't say never, but very hard to play. Okay, oof. Now, unfortunately, I got a Regret, which is fine, but the worst thing is I got a Duplicate Piercing Well, so I still have to remove a card or transform another card, which I guess is also an option. Right, can't do anything here. Okay. All right, Champ, who's not attacking on turn one. That's good news. Um, let me do Corruption. Then uh, play the Cloak and Dagger to see what I get. Nightmare. Okay, I can Nightmare the Wraith form. It's a little risky, but it might not be a bad idea. Let me play these shifts here first. I'm trying to think if there's anything better to do to Nightmare. Definitely risky. Should I drink the Power Potion? You know what? Let's risk it. Let's take this. After Image. Yeah, okay, that's good. Let's do the After Image. I think what I'll do as well is I'll upgrade the Wraith from that way. No, I can upgrade the Wraith from next turn. Next turn, right. So let's, yeah, uh, duplicate the Wraith form and then play that. Okay. All right. So 12 incoming. Now I could fully defend here with the second wind. But no, I think I should upgrade the Wraith forms. Yeah, let's do Blessing of the Forge. Upgrade all the Wraith forms. Play one of them at least. Okay. Then do Limit Break. And then I will do second win. I guess, yeah, that that really only bought me two turns of intangibility, right? Yeah, fine, fine. Let's still play it. Get rid of the regret that way. Okay. But I don't have barricade active yet. Uh, this does give me time to get to that barricade, though. So, yeah, let's play that. Let's do shrug it off. Um, there's a burst. Let's do expertise first. Okay, exhume could bring me back. I don't think I need another, I need another limit break, but wraith form? Yeah, I could play that. 
Sure, sure, let's do that. So let's... Uh, but then I'll lose a lot of decks. That's fine. Let's burst the Adrenaline. Unless I get something else better. Actually, you want Juggernaut and Impervious is much better. So let's do Juggernaut. Then do Impervious. And then I'll exhume the Impervious. Yeah, I think that's better than getting another uh, another Wraith form. Alright. And then here I should... Do I want... Yeah, I can do Berserk, right? Because I'm still intangible. And let's also do Brutality. And then I'll do Phantasma Killer, which is nice. And Glass Knife. Okay. Good turn. Mm -hmm. So here I have double damage, and well, I do have a bludgeon, actually, and I have double damage soon with pendant. That should give me the overkill modifier, right? So yeah, if I do emulate, then bludgeon gives me overkill. Awesome, so I don't have to worry about that. Let's do battle trance. Um, I can do bullet time, sure. Disarm is nice, and venom, tools of the trade, and I think I'll just do uh, doppelganger is useless. Right? Let's do corpse explosion, and then storm of steel for one more shift. Okay. Alright, that was actually a really nice turn, and I still have 75 block, not intangible anymore, but I'm also not being attacked, which is nice. Alright, let's do Ghostly Armor, and play the Endless Agonies, do Offering, yeah, I think this should be easy at this point. Backflip, actually 1000 cuts first, then backflip, mm -hmm. and another after which awesome. Deflect, and then I can, wait, can I kill with the feet here? If I double tap it, I think I can, awesome. Oh no, the 1000 cuts killed first, alright, fine. Nightmare, Glass Knife, Double Tap, have to skip because I am going for Highlander. And then I think I should take the Black Star, at least Drum Edition Relic when defeated, mostly because I there is a small chance I might get to 25 Curses, very small chance. I also realized I have a lot of gold that I haven't spent yet, um, so let's see. There are two to lead path, but generally on the left, not, th not on the right. So if I stick on the far left, I'll get one, two, three, four, five question mark rooms, but no shop. If I go on the second from the left, I'll get one... Oh, and then turn right. No, no, I can't turn right. I have to stick a turn. Oh, sorry, I can't turn left. I have to stick right. I'll get, just get one question mark room, but I will get a guaranteed shop. I think it's worth trying the five question mark room path because I haven't had a shop in a while. And the longer you go without a shop, the more likely it is that you'll get one. And uh, yeah, because I have to remove that extra piercing well, the duplicate one. All right, so here I could just do... I'm trying to think if I should do uh, Storm of Steel. No, let's just do Dash. All right, yeah, let's do Dash. Pommel Strike, and then Storm of Steel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, took a little bit of damage there, but I think that's fine. Let's do After Image Offering. Could have done Wraith Form first, but yeah. And then I can do Bullet Time and play everything else. Barricade, Wraith Form, Cloak and Dagger, Shivs. And then, yeah, let's do True Grid. I'm wasting the Ink Bottle that way, but I think that's fine. Especially with Barricade, I'm okay having a lot of strength. And then at some point, I do have to make sure I use the Feed once more to get to 100 HP. So maybe this is it. Um, let's do Ghostly Armor. And then Phantasmal Killer. I do need to deal a little bit of damage, so let's do this. Endless Agonies twice. And then Second Wind, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think maybe I'll wait for the Feed just because I think I'm ready. Uh, there it is. Awesome. All right, and then I also should try to get the combo modifier at some point. Havoc Dagger Spray prepared. Let's take the Havoc. Not a bad idea. Okay. And then here I got the Spiker that I have to worry about a little bit. Um, actually, there's a Corpse Explosion. Too bad I don't have the Burst here. Let's do Corruption Rage. Then do Corpse Explosion on you. And then do Storm of Steel. Okay. I don't think this is going to be enough. Oh, no. Double damage was enough. Good. And then I can do Wraith Form. And that way... I uh, actually can play a free offering, which is good. After image. Actually, let's do after image and 1,000 cuts and the piercing well. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here, let's do shrug it off and then emulate kills, right? Good. Okay. Got a cultist potion, deadly poison, leg sweep, blade dance, the leg sweep is actually really nice. Who's my final boss, by the way? Don't know Deca, which is good. Yeah, if it was the awakened one, I'd be in trouble because I have so many powers. Curse number three. Unique curse number three. Yeah, let's take it. Okay. And then, yeah, finally got a shop here. Again, I could duplicate something, but it's too risky. I could duplicate a curse and then hope I can transform it again, but no, that's too risky. That's too much. Let's first remove the duplicate Piercing Whale. Okay. And then, yeah, I can pretty much buy everything. We got Anchor, Strategic Combat, 10 Block, and then Juju Base, Normal Enemy Combat, on only Encounter in Question Mark Rooms. Let's also take a Backstab, which is not a bad idea. Armaments is really good because I can't upgrade anything anyway. Maybe the Discovery, sure, I have the gold. And then let's take the Callous Bush. Unfortunately, this is somewhat, somewhat of an underwhelming shop. Okay. But at least I'm on track for the Highland modifier again, which is good. Alright, uh, let's do... 
I'm almost fully defended here. I kind of want to do 1,000 cuts. Yes, let's do that. And then I'll do Corpse Explosion, one of these. All right, and then I can do Backstab. Okay, so the Poison should kill next turn. I just have to worry about the Spheric Guardian. Okay, so Uppercut. Yeah, that's not that great. Let's do let's do Uppercut. And then, um, yeah, there's a Wraith form I can't play. What if I do Malaise now? Let's do Phantasmal Killer and then Storm of Steel. So I will get a little bit of block from the Orcalcum. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here I have double damage active, uh, which I can use with the unload. Actually, let me see if I can somehow draw the feed. No, that's fine. Okay. All right, Crippling Cloud Dropkick Finisher. Crippling Cloud is fine. I like it more than the others. Let's take it. It's also pre-upgraded. Okay. All right, Nemesis, 18 incoming. I do have the Piercing Well and an After Image. That's good. Anything I need to Nightmare? No, no. If I Nightmare and play the After Image, I won't be able to fully defend. Uh, so, yeah, let's just do Piercing Whale. Um, yes, and then see what I draw with one Endless Agony. Actually, let's do Backstab first. Second win. Yeah, that's not super necessary. All right, let's just do the Endless Agonies then. And just, well, let's play second win as well. Get the Ink Bottle closer to, uh, to 9, I guess. Another 18. Let's see what the Offering gives me. Okay, Impervious is nice. Anything I need to exhume, I can exhume another Offering. Let's do Crippling Cloud for the Weakness, then exhume another Offering. Yep. I'd like to keep the Impervious for later, but I don't think I can. Yeah, let's actually do Lex Sweep here. Okay, fully defended that way. And then I'll do Pummel Strike. Uh, let's do Storm of Steel. And then Berserk is a little dangerous in case I get attacks next turn, so let me not play that. Okay, at least I got a bunch of decks that way. Okay. Yeah, of course I didn't get attacked this turn. Yeah, if I knew that. All right. Let's do Adrenaline. Then um, upgrade what? Uppercut, I guess? Sure, sure. Alright, and then I can do Uppercut for another turn of weakness of Reaper. Okay, I do have double damage next turn, which is nice, but next turn the enemy is intangible, of course. 33, okay, this is the big attack, and unfortunately there's nothing I can do. Is there anything the Colors Potion could give me here? Um, let me try. Panic Button was really what I was looking for, right? Nope, nope. Is there anything the the violence can give me that will allow me to somehow defend? No, no. I need the Wraith from here. I don't think there's anything I can do. Uh, I guess I'll just do 1,000 Cuts and Doppelganger. Yeah, a bit of a bummer. Losing a lot of HP here, too. 12 incoming. Here, I do have double damage, so Emulate might not be a bad idea. Let's do Juggernaut, Rage, and Emulate. Okay. And then I... Actually, the Juggernaut was enough to kill. All right, we had Wing Boots. You may ignore Path and choose the next room to travel to three times. Very nice. And Lizard Tail, one of you die, heal to 50% of your backstage speed instead. Also got a Snake Oil Potion, and Predator is fine here. Okay, so now that I have Wing Boots, okay, I can get another Elite. So I can go here, get this question mark room and this question mark room, then jump over for a last shop and then do another Elite. Uh, that will only use one jump. Is there... I can use, you know what, I can go here, jump over once, then back. That way I'll get extra question mark rooms. Yeah, yeah, why not, why not? I have the jumps, might as well use them. Okay. All right, can't do anything at the shop here, or at the rest side here. Okay, giant head. Um, let's do, just play, well, I only have four energy, right? I do want to do predator and da-da-da. So let's do tools of the trade, backstab, da-da-da, and then predator. Okay. I do also have the Snake Oil Potion. You know what? I'll do the Berserk here. I have the Snake Oil Potion, which I want to use, right? Because especially I might be able to get the... Oh, actually, there's a Corruption. That's really good. Get rid of the Venom. Okay, I might have considered getting rid of the Malaise, actually. Because this the Malaise make it hard, makes it harder to go for the combo. Of fry. But yeah, let's try Corruption. All right. Then a Rage Offering. Mm -hmm. Bullet Time is not a bad idea, but then I won't be able to draw much more. Let's do Shrug It Off. Leg sweep. Okay. And I already played five cards. So this is another three. Um, yeah, I think I should I should definitely try to go for the um, overkill modifier. Uh, not the overkill, the combo modifier here. Let's do a thousand cuts and true grit. I was hoping it wouldn't get the... Yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. All right. I think then I will try the uh, Sneko Oil Potion. Okay. Oh, interesting. So Sneko Oil randomizes even if it's a skill. All right. That's a problem. Yeah, I don't think I can play a lot of cards here then. Barricade. Actually, I should have done bullet time, right? That was silly. 
Um, yeah, fine. Let's just do Doppelganger then. Alright. This was not the right turn to do... Wait, now they're all zero again? This is strange. Okay. Um, well, hang on. If I play bullet time 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that's 16. Another 3. It gets me close, but not quite enough. Um, I mean, let's try this, right? Let's do bullet time. Okay. Then do um, Havoc, which plays a bludgeon. Okay. Wait, let me just... 12, 15, 16, 17, 18... No, uh, wait, 17... Wait, I think that's exactly 20 if I'm calculating this, right? All right, let's try this. So I'll do the malaise, flying knee, feed, malaise, then second wind, 17. Yeah, and then this will give me the combo modifier. Awesome. Yes, beautiful. All right. Phew, got overclone combo. Okay, the only thing I'm not getting is uh, playing fast enough. So that's, that's unfortunate, but not much I can do about that. Uh, let me get rid of the Phantasmal Killer. Do I have Juggernaut active? No, I don't think so. Let's do After Image. Limit Break, um, Ghostly Armor, Cloak and Dagger. I should have bursted something. Yeah, that was silly. I should have bursted the, uh, I don't know, Cloak and Dagger, for example. Mm -hmm. And then here, I can Nightmare the Wraith Form. Why not? All right. Play that. Crippling Cloud, Pummel Strike, Deflect, Alchemize. Good. Attack Potion. Okay. Yeah, I already got Overkill and Combo, so I don't have to worry too much about those. And then here, get rid of one of these. I don't need that many. I can do Corpse Explosion, Dash, Discovery gives me, uh, I don't know, Whirlwind, sure. Alright. Now, I thought that would be enough. Can I get another attack card? Um, one that costs zero. I misclicked there. That's fine. Should be able to kill and I'm still intangible, right? Actually, and the poison is almost enough to kill too. So, uh, yeah, let's just kill with the uppercut. Alright, perfect. This one I got fossilized helix. Prevent the first time you lose HP each combat, which is unfortunate. I have do have the regret. And then whetstone up and pick up up to two random attacks. Emulate an uppercut. I got a power potion and uh, not a huge fan of any of these. And I have enough cards, so let's just skip. And then I said go for this crush mark room, then jump twice for an extra crush mark room. Okay. Bag of marbles. Set the starvage combat by one vulnerable tall enemies. Okay. And then here I could get a might blast. I wouldn't. Okay. Yeah. There's one. Uh, Dark Shackles is not a bad idea, and Traumatic Entrance might be too much for turn 1. Yeah, it might make my turn 1 a little worse than I'd like. So let's take the Flash of Steel here instead. Here, I will take the Mind Blast, and then here, let's take Dark Shackles, sure. Okay. Jump over for... I still have 3 more jumps, right? Yeah, jump over for one more question mark. Yeah, this is curse number 3 as well as Pain, and then Warp Tongues is really good. At the start of your turn, upgrade a random card in your hand for Rust of Combat. Very useful in a Midas run. And then one more jump over here. And then I'll do one more jump to the shop. Uh, I'm okay losing the Endless Agony. I don't think it's super necessary. And then last jump over here. Okay. So I wasn't able to go for curses, which means I could remove a curse if I want to. Let's buy all the relics first. Pentograph at the start of boss combat, seal 25 HP. Peace pipe, you can now remove cards from your deck at rest sites. And Camelclax, the effect of your, of your cost, X cards are increased by 2, which is nice. And then I could buy a whirlwind. Let me first remove. So what is the curse I don't like? I have pain, regret, and writhe. Maybe an injury. Okay, it's four curses. Is there a way I can fight the writhing mass? No, no. Uh, let's remove the uh, writhe because that will make my opening hand worse. Okay. And then I could buy hand of greed. Panic button is my favorite card. Could buy another potion. Let's do power through. Great card. Um... I don't think I need Whirlwind, even though I have the chemical, chemical X, so let's not take that. Metal size is fine. Let's do Panic Button. I'll do Hand of Greed. It's expensive, but it's a nice damage card. Let's take it. Okay. All right. I think that was a much better shop than the previous one. All right. Nemesis attempt number two. Do I have double damage anytime soon? I might. One, two. Yeah, yeah. I think I can do double damage, right? So let's do Emulate. Um, backstab. And then double damage is enough to kill. Good. Okay, you've got Tingsha, you can now, uh, sorry, whenever you discard a card during your turn, deal 3 damage to a random enemy, as well as Ice Cream Energy is now conserved between turns. Another Cunning Push, which I don't think I'll need anymore. Quick Slash Doppelganger, Bloodletting, already have this, don't need any of those. Okay, and then here, I could remove another Curse, right? Yeah, let's do it. Let's remove the Pain, I think, at this point, or the Regret, doesn't matter too much. Okay. Alright. Alright. All right, turn one is going to be a little crucial because I do have 20 incoming. I do have that leg sweep. That is a huge help. All right, so let's start off with... Um, yeah, I don't have double damage anymore. I could do Berserk, right? Let me drink the Cultist Potion first. Let me see what the Power Potion gives me here. After Image. Yeah, that's really good at the beginning. Let's take it. All right, so let's do After Image. If I do Berserk... No, it's I, I think it's too risky. Um, 
Brutality would make me lose the buffer, which I would like to avoid as well. So yeah, let's just do Leg Sweep. Might as well do Limit Break, and then I'll do Mind Blast and Backstab. Okay, yeah, I think this is good. No need to risk it with either Brutality or the Berserk. Alright, 26. There's an upgraded, or a malaise with the, um, with the Chemical Collector, which is useful. Unfortunately, I don't think it'll be enough. Dark Shackles is much better. Okay. And then I can do Expertise. Alright, let's see what the Discovery gives me. Die, 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 Barricade or Adrenaline. Uh, wait, it'll cost zero, right? Let's definitely take the Barricade here. Okay. And then I'm worried that the Malaise might still not be enough. So I think Second Wind might be better, especially because I have Barricade. So let me do Glass Knife. And then do Second Wind. Okay. Yeah, that gives me a bunch of block and also will give me block for next turn. Mm -hmm. Not quite enough. And unfortunately, I'm going to lose my buffer to the Regret, which is fine. Um, I think I'll do Crippling Cloud. Anything I can exhume here. I don't have an offering. I can exhume the Dark Shackles. Yeah, let's do that. That'll actually save me much more HP. I can even burst the Dark Shackles. I think that might be a little too much. Uh, yeah, let's just do Dark Shackles and then... Uh, go see armor to not lose it. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. 24. I'm fully defended. Uh, there's a feed. I can use Wraith Form here. A little risky, but I think it's worth it. So let's do Wraith Form. I'll do Disarm. Uh, you. And then I'll do Panic Button because I have the Barricade. Okay. Mm -hmm. How am I doing on time? 47. Okay, I'm not that slow. Well... I thought I was slower, I guess. I definitely don't need the barricade. I already have one. Um, I could Nightmare the Cloak and Nagger. That seems like a good idea. And then play that, as well as play the Unload. Okay. Ah, too bad I can't do the Juggernaut. That's unfortunate. Would have loved to be able to play that. Would have been able to deal a lot of damage that way, right? Okay, a lot of incoming at this point. I do have the Dolphaganger here, right? Uh, let's do Double Tap the Predator. It's a lot of damage, actually. No, let's do Cloak and Nagger first. And then I'll double tap the Predator. Because that way I'll deal double damage with the Predator. Enough to kill one of them. Then do Shiv and then Doppelganger. Okay. Alright, I think at this point I should be fine, right? Yeah, and there's a Corruption. Good. Um, let's do Corruption. Deflect Alchemize. Gives me a Liquid Bronze. Might as well play that. Then do After Image Adrenaline. Mm -hmm. Then Uppercut, and then I do want to do Hand of Greed, as well as Part 3. Yeah, because I have Corruption, I think I'm definitely fine here. Let's do Battle Trance, upgrade the Storm of Steel, and then here, I'll do Phantasm Killer 2, and then Storm of Steel. All oh, right, Tink Shot does a lot of damage, yep. Okay, once I have all my powers ready, I'm fine, it's just getting there, beautiful. All right, perfected everything, other than one of the, other than the one Nemesis fight. Yeah, one of the Nemesis fight. 1509, that's not too bad. Alright, so 7 out of 8 elites, yeah, missed the Nemesis, and then got Beyond Perfect, Overkill combo. Overkill, I got it with the Mind Blast, was it? Yep. And then combo was that one turn thanks to that Shiv Potion. And then, of course, I got stuff just barely, actually. I did use the feed a lot on Act 1, which is useful. Raining money, I don't think Curses would have been possible. I guess, actually, no, Curses would have been possible, without going for Highlander, of course, because I could have Dolly's Mirror one of the Curses. But then I would have lost the Highlander modifier, which I don't think was necessary. I don't think I could have gotten a lot of Collector bonuses. Um... But yeah, no, I'm very happy with the score. And Scubidian, of course, was very easy. Yeah, let's see where we stand in the rankings. I think I should be doing fine, right? All right, look at that. I'm 17th. Interesting. So Warpal got 27 points more. So I suspect at the end I, I skipped a lot, or I used the wing boots to get question mark room. So Warpal might have just taken a regular fight instead. And then I assume Warpal just played faster. Um, Pelts, interestingly, got only 7 points more. I suspect that means that maybe Pelts didn't get the wing boots or got it later, or, or, or earlier too. I guess if you somehow get more... Actually, no, I got, I got a lot of um, relics, right? Because I had the Black Star as well. So I do wonder if... Um, yeah, maybe... Was there a way to get the wing boots earlier? Yeah, that could explain a, a sort of difference in score that's not a multiple of 25. Although, interestingly, uh, Bjorn and Pelts are a multiple of 25, more or less, away from each other. And then both of them are not a multiple of 25 uh, points away from me and Vorpal. So I do suspect there's something going on with the RNG that gave people slightly different options there. Uh, but yeah, if I played a little faster, I would have been almost tied with Vorpal. But yeah, it was I could have played a little faster. I think, especially on Act 1, where I didn't have to worry too much about things, I was definitely spending way too much time thinking about it and then waiting for the feed that definitely didn't help. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the score. Let me know in the comments what you did. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.